I'm switching to the Luke cam. Luke, this is it. The oh no, that wasn't it. The, oh oh, oh. Uh, but, uh, I know how to do this. Uh -huh. Hey, okay. My shoes are in a bag. You and, and so how do you know these are good? I don't exactly. Technically, Wait, what you? But yeah. you, you just you told me before the show that these were good. They should be. Theoretically, I, well, I haven't opened them. Well, I, so I don't know. I thought they're the same ones. They're... Right now, they are Schrodinger's shoes, not my shoes. So they could be dead. Sure, they could be alive. I mean, a so dead shoe shoes would could that be, be like holes in the bottom? They, they could so the be. shoes could be alive. Yeah. Um, and by observing them, they could become dead. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, now I really want to know what's in there. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> shoes. Uh, so yeah, the idea is. I, I bought this one pair of shoes. They worked great for me. And I never wanted to get rid of them because I'd go try on other shoes and I would dislike them all the time. I hate padding around the heel. I don't roll my ankles. I've like never rolled an ankle. I yeah. don't need How nice ankle support. I find it very annoying. Actually, yeah. I really hate it. So I love not Luke having that. He has fat ankles. He, um, has, he has padding. I have. <laughs> it might be true. His ankles have rolls, so he can never <laughs> roll them. That would be so interesting. <laughs> I don't know how that would even work. Um, I have very tall feet. I have very wide feet. A lot of like running and fitness shoes don't fit me very well because of that. Yeah. Um, these ones do. Like, there's a lot of reasons why I like these shoes. Um, but through years and years and years of just trashing them, like I used to box in them. They've traveled with me everywhere. They've climbed ridiculous things. They've done tons of stuff. Uh, I threw them in the in the wash once and then transferred them to the dryer. And the, the toe got stuck in part of the dryer. And it like heat molded it into a curve. And then I just had to like wear that out over years. Like they are... They are old and rough and they are at the end of their life and so, Heinemann in twitch chat says this camera is very sharp so i'll take that as a compliment for dan's uh focus control over there yeah good job good job dan so, it's actually a c200 our, our wan show cameras are so overkill so these are theoretically the same shoes the same shoes in theoretically very good condition mm -hmm. in actually my size which is the hard part right i don't have like absolutely ridiculously gigantic feet but i have size 12s yeah okay. which can be a little annoying to find sometimes um so this is this is hopefully my new shoes they look like they're in pretty good condition well okay are yeah. those the same yeah okay and this these are like a... are these are these old or are these like a re a re-manufacture theoretically just old actually legit Shoes. I mean, I, I gotta say, they look like... I, I mean, I guess, like, shoe enthusiasts are a big thing these days. Not for these? So keeping <laughs> shoes in good condition, I guess, is a thing. They're, they're a even little the, like, worn. Even the, like, insole is in pretty good condition. Yeah, like, the toe, the toe's a little... I don't think these have been worn. able to be sold at a store for, like, seven years, so keep yeah, that in mind. Yeah, so they've been, they've been used, but they've clearly been not, you know... Do they smell? No, not bad. No. They don't smell like new shoes. No. But they don't smell like disgusting, ancient, gross, disgusting no, shoes. Yeah. All right. So congratulations, Luke. Yeah. I, I feel good shoes. for you. Thanks, Dan. Well, not really new shoes, but yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. That's the whole shoe story. Hope that was interesting. 